In this video, I want to talk about how to set up SD-WAN lab in EVE-NG emulator. First, we should consider three requirements. We need them. First, EVE-NG emulator. You can download EVE-NG from www.eve-ng.net. Look at here, eve-ng.net. You should go to download menu, download, and download pro version EVNG Professional or download free EVE Community Edition EVNG Professional from here and free EVE Community Edition from here. I use free EVE Community Edition and you can download easily from here. Okay, this is the first requirement. Second, Estevan Images. Estevan Images include vManage Image, vBond Image, VH image and VSmart image and also CSR1000V1KV image. You can download all of them from www.cisco.com or my personal Telegram channel https colon slash slash t dot me slash d e l j double o a r a s h you can download all of the images from my telegram channel and this is free okay this is the second requirement and third option is van edgeless file from software.cisco.com that we get it from cisco.com from software.cisco.com in previous video if you have these three requirements you can start to set up or build your SD-WAN laboratory. Okay, let's get started. First, I install or I import EVNG emulator on my server. Look at here. This is my computer with IP address of 192.168.1220.24. And I have a server, I have a server here with the IP address of 192.168.1202.24 for my EVNG emulator. EVNG, I use ESXi hypervisor. I also install EVNG over ESXi. Okay, first we should go to our EVNG in this address. Very good. 192.168.1202. Okay, uh, this is uh, our EVNG. Uh, we can start from here. Uh, the, we should create a laboratory from here. Add new lab. Add new lab. Okay, add t uh, first laboratory. First, Steven lab. First, Steven lab. This is the first lab. Everything started from here and everything start from scratch, save. Okay, you see that we have an empty page. We should import all of image in this lab and then give certificate to all of our images and start Steven. Many tasks we should consider, we should do to build our lab first we should import our sd image or Viptela image. Look at here, add an object. When you see uh, add an object and then node, okay, let's get bottom of this pay, this list and Viptela image. Viptela V1, not installed. Viptela VH, not installed. Viptela vManage, not installed. Viptela vSmart, not, is, not uh, uh, installed. And as you see, everything is not installed and we should start from here. Okay, let's go to EVNG site and see that how can we import SD-WAN image to EVNG. From here, download and after that we should go to FAQ, frequently asked questions or documentation from here documentation and how to's you should find viptela you, you can search 
Viptela, Viptela. Okay? Cisco Estivan Viptela image set. Open it, click it. Okay. As you see, the version this guide are based on is 19.2.3. 19.2.3. Okay. It's not important what version you use. All versions are configured the same. We use version 19.3.0 and um, you can use another versions or this version. Okay, you can download version 19.3 from my Telegram channel and uh, or from other resources. Okay, let's get it started. Uh, and only one thing I want to say before we start uh, importing this image to EVNG. Uh, it's better to use minimum 24 gigabyte RAM for vManage uh, if you use version 20.x or higher. I use version 19.3, but I also consider this uh, important requirement and I use for vManage node 24 gigabyte of RAM. Okay, start from uh, the first line steps below are based on viptela 19.2.3 deployment for other image deployment use proper names respectively this means that for example if we use viptela version 19.3.0 we should create direct